Hello you guys, it's Keith, my channel is Tech from Down Under, today's video is a celebration of another channel and the channel is Mark G with a C's channel, he's doing a 2000 subs giveaway at the moment, uh, so cheers for reaching that 2000. And um, so what can you, you say about Mark, uh, Mr. Riffface, the man of the tumbleweeds, lover of Zentrix music, uh, it just rolls off your tongue talking about him. Uh, he's a great supporter of other channels and my channel and just a pleasure to watch his videos and what, what he shows. So... He, I'll have to find something dirty and horrible to show. So this is where I keep all my my black metal. So you see, there is going to be a lot of dad jokes in this video. Uh, should I show maybe some of that? Uh, what else have I got? Maybe some of that. Or, um, yeah, maybe not that. Uh, what else have I got in here? Oh, this is where I keep all my Nile, Nile albums as well. Um, I decided I'll just go with the letter of the law. I will just show what he what he asked for. So he's got three parts to this giveaway that he wants us to show. Uh, for, First part is see no evil, second part is hear no evil, and the third part is speak no evil. So with the first part, see no evil, he'd like us to show two pieces of album art that you just love to look at, that in his words, en enhance your enjoyment of the music because of the art. Uh, so I, like this sort of artwork here, fantasy sort of with swords and fantasy creatures and things like that. I like that sort of artwork. I know this is on um, a Sirith, some Sirith Ungol albums, but I don't own those. But that's the sort of thing, just showing you what, what I like. What I like. Um, but um, the first album, album I'd like to show is uh, Angel Witch. Uh, this is the first album by the British heavy metal band, came out in 1980 on bronze records. And I just love this artwork on here. Even when I just pull it out to have a listen, I always have uh, a little bit of a look at this and just all the detail in, in, the, in, the, in this painting. So this painting was by an artist called John Martin, and it's called The Fallen Angels Entering Pandemonium. And there's a the group there. So just my first one, that awesome bit of artwork there, Angel Witch. Good, really good album. Uh, the second one's probably my fav one of my favourite covers. It's not actually uh, metal, but I'm sure anyone can appreciate the the work on here. So it's just awesome with the. The guitar up there, and of course the nude model makes it, of course. So this album is called Sunbirth First Finish by Bebop Deluxe. Silly name, but it's their third album. They're an English rock band, and this came out in 1976. It's kind of a future pop rock album, and this was done at Abbey Road Studios. But uh, whatever music you like, I think you can appreciate that cover. So this is John Thornton is the name of the photographer who did this cover, and the model was Nikki Jerk, Jerk or something like that. There we go. So that's my second one, second cover. So second part of this competition is Hear No Evil. Uh, just show two albums that you won't hear a bad word spoken about them. Uh, so this, my first one is Middle Church. 
the debut album from the American heavy metal band. And this came out in 1984. So everyone, when they show this, always mentions this guitar, which is a Gibson Explorer guitar, cruciform. Um, and one funny thing about this that not everyone might know, in the first vinyl came out of this, it also included a t-shirt. So this is when the group had David Wayne on vocals and of course the big song starts, it starts off really well beyond, with Beyond the Black and Metal Church. So I don't know if it gets any criticism at all, but maybe for one of the covers, maybe Highway Star, but I like that cover. But I think this is a great album and I don't think it'd be as much much critique. It's a good album. So second one, uh, these guys here, Man of War, and appropriately, the album is Hail to England, where of course Mark's from, and the album is is from Man of War. So this is. American heavy metal band uh, came out in nine, this album came out in 1984 Music for Nations so this was sort of a tribute by them to the country the band was formed in they're not actually from England they're from the states they just uh, thank all their fans and and all the support that they got so not sure about that flag there it's a bit different so this was only recorded in about six days and this has got Eric Adams on vocals, uh, Ross the Boss on guitars and keyboards. So a lot of people think these, well, I don't know what, what people think, but regard this as, as quite a parody sort of band. They, they take all, all, they take themselves very seriously, but a lot of the lyrics are a bit cheesy. It's a bit cheesy, but I just love the vocals on this and I just love the songs and this gets a regular play in my car and it just pumps you up. So I wouldn't have anyone say anything bad about Man of War because I think they're a great, great band except for some of the history of some of the guitarists in here. So, But anyway, I won't talk about that. So that's my second one, show two albums that you won't hear a bad word spoken about them. Right, third part is Speak No Evil. So Mark would like us to show two albums that you've heard him speak about on his channel that you now have your, in your collection and you enjoy. So Mark is a bit of a collector. This is a limited edition Mark G with a C toy. Massive collector himself. So he's got a lot of records, but one that keeps cropping up, one band that keeps cropping up is, of course, uh, Zentrix. And if you've watched his channel for any length of time, you'll see these guys come up every now and again. So this is an album that came out in 1990. A really enjoyable album. I know this isn't his favourite one. I think he likes the one before this better. But this has got, uh, what, Black and Brace. It's got thrash, it's thrash, it's UK thrash. And just about the themes of the big corporations, the greed, how they just help themselves without any sort of regard to anybody else. Um, so Mark does like sh the Shattered Existence one better, but I, do, I like this one. Um, it's Zentrix for whose advantage. And I think this will probably show up in a lot of these videos that are been posted for him. Uh, second one I heard about on his channel is this one here, and I'm glad I did. I think he showed this about two months ago. He talked about this. And it's one that's been on my turntable pretty constant since, since I, I managed to grab a copy of it. Uh, this is a 2022 solo doom metal project by Simon Bibby. And he just knocks it out of the park with this one. It's just a great album. So 
So if you like doom metal, give that a go. It's not hasn't got overly harsh vocals or anything like that. It uh, is actually pretty easy on the air if you don't like those sort of vocals. I don't mind them too much. Um, so that's my second album, show albums that you've heard him speak about on his channel that I've got in my collection and, and I like. So these will be going back in my black metal crate and my crate and with all that. And I hope you enjoyed that short little video, Mark, and all the best for your channel. And I hope you found that interesting. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you in my next video.